Well, watching the ceremony with me a short while ago was Mark Perelman, our French politics editor. And Mark, we got a sense of uh, sort of the atmosphere at Place Vendôme from Antonia there. But just give us the bigger picture here. Why was he such a celebrated individual? Why was he honoured in this way today? Because certainly not every justice minister gets that after they die. No, no, no justice minister mm. ever got such a, a tribute and the promise that he'll be laid to rest in uh, the Pantheon just immediately after uh, his death uh, this week. Uh, yes, Robert Badinter is probably one of the last giants as a lawyer, as a politician, as a human rights activist in his way. And this is uh, why uh, there's a lot of talk about uh, ethics, morals and so on, because uh, he made... Uh, the fight to abolish the death penalty, something that was deeply uh, personal, but he made it into a major, major uh, fight here in France, where he abolished the death penalty in 1981 as justice minister, despite strong, vivid and sometimes personal opposition. And after uh, he retired from uh, politics, he also was very involved in trying to abolish uh, the death penalty around the world. And uh, President Macron vowed that he would try uh, to pursue uh, this uh, agenda after the passing of uh, Robert Badinter. So you had this uh, very, very rare mix of a lawyer, a politician, someone who had a tragic personal history mm -hmm. uh, because uh, he came uh, from what is now uh, Moldova in Eastern uh, Europe. His father was uh, sent to a death camp, never came back mm -hmm. uh, in 1943. He was hidden uh, by uh, some French citizens. Uh, so he saw uh, both the dark side of World War II with his father being deported, but also the bright side with people uh, saving his life, allowing him uh, to become who uh, he would uh, become. So uh, he, he was someone uh, special. He was also uh, married to Elisabeth Badinter, also a very well-known philosopher, uh, advocate for uh, uh, women, uh, very well known here in France. So uh, they had this kind of uh, gravitas, someone uh, was, uh, some people were really listening to them, uh, even from uh, younger generations, because they're obviously uh, quite old, both of uh, them. So this is why you had this very, very rare uh, tribute. First of all, uh, the location, in front of the justice minister. Normally, it's at the Invalide, where those mm. uh, national tributes are, mm. are paid. But also having this ceremony uh, with the uh, uh, tribute by the president and all those clappings you heard. This is mm. uh, not very uh, usual, but this, in a way, symbolizes a man who was haunted by death mm. uh, but uh, decided to choose life. Quite an individual indeed. Thank you very much. Uh, Mark Paraman for us there, our French politics editor.